Agnes Martin is a fantastic artist. She said, you had to be still when doing art. You had to quiet your mind so that you could recognize when creativity came in. Art is, is, is always coming out of a collective consciousness, even if it's something that kicks around in the memory for days or weeks or, or perhaps years. Creativity, inspiration really comes from outside of ourselves. Because it's really about having a conversation outside of our own soul. One artist has got great capacity to impact change, particularly given that we are so compelled to find meaning and to make a connection to artwork. That's the power of the artist and that's the power of the art. I think to be seduced by art is uh, to be invited into that grander play of creation. And once one can link to that idea of creation, it opens up so much possibility. What I like about Orjit Sen's work is his sense of scale. Big creates opportunities for people to have conversations and relationships. But there's also another scale which is at work here, and that's the scale of the narrative. When I started researching this idea of the landscape of Punjab, I began to realize that it's meaningless without the people who occupy that landscape. I began to realize that it needs to be a peoplescape rather than a landscape. There are so many stories, but uh, I probably would um, go back to my village scene. Actually, um, I like it very much, you know, makes you emotional. His work in graphic novels and my work in graphic novels and the fact that we're both Indians, although different kind of Indians, I think was really kind of a, 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 a point of beginning for us to have a conversation about what would be possible. While I met him at the at the opening, before I knew anything about his artwork or kind of how crazy prolific of an artist he is, we just chilled, <laughs> and we just uh, ended up hanging out and talking like politics and culture till about three in the morning. And of course, you know, you, then you see his artwork and your you know, bits of your brain start exploding all over the place. I do a lot of work, I, I make comics and I'm a graphic novelist and then I realized that with the miniature painters they had their own conventions and that it would be something that I could start using perhaps in a contemporary sense to tell the story of Punjab. It would be hard for me to imagine an artist not making some kind of a difference, uh, particularly an artist of, of such stature as, as Orge. The question is, can we really uh, measure all the influences that he's going to have on Vancouver? Probably not. Art saves those who seduce us. God, that just sounds so right. <laughs> it just sounds exactly right. Thanks. Check it out. See how it feels. 
for me, when I was growing up, trying to find meaning in our world was pretty difficult. Because, uh, you know, it was pretty a shopping mall world. Art, in a way, saved me from that being the only meaning. Music and art have been these, like, conversations between cultures for years. We exist within a, a cultural hybrid culture. Art houses stories in that sense, and then, you know, it leads to, leads to those kinds of understandings. Because it's not predictable, and because it's not familiar, and because it doesn't live close to us in, in a familiar, intimate way, we stop to observe. There's a lot of excitement at that edge of, of possibly bringing things together that, you know, are slightly unlikely. A man to struggle with this quest, relate the feelings from this chest, stolen words from the breath, open moments of the blessed, broken moments confessed. Meeting uh, folks like Orgy or Michael who create in this form that I really don't have any background in, it's at a fundamental inspirational level of humanity. To see that as a uh, slightly younger artist, it's, uh, it, it like invites you in the best way to step up. I uh, really feel comfortable with the notion that if I were to put the names of all the people that have contributed to a specific piece of artwork that's come out of my studio, there wouldn't be enough space or enough time. I do something called Haida Manga. It's a hybrid art form. And when you take these two things together that don't really belong, it creates the unexpected. And that's the beauty of hybridity. It causes us to pause and reflect. Deep down inside of us, there is this essential obligation for us to find meaning in objects that we look at. And that's where the magic lies. It's not in the art itself. It's in the space between the art and the observer. When we take these ideas and we share these ideas with each other, uh, we develop more meaning from them. We know we're in this meeting place where things are informing each other and are like crossing over and, and that allows for this unconscious boundary to be broken. Art creates the opportunity for the observer to pause and reflect and that's its power. That's why it cuts so cleanly through walls and ethnic enclaves and all the demographics that have chopped us up into little boxes. Art can move through them all. When you enter into a partnership or a conversation with someone and you, you don't come as an empty vessel, you bring something. You, you contribute to it. A collaboration is everybody putting a little bit into the soup. And when um, Orijit came uh, and we met at the Indian Summer Festival, there was a, a very compelling feeling that we should be cooking in the same kitchen, that there was a good soup to be made. 